sir. Bitcoin, AI, and one more narrative about to take off. We'll get to that new narrative you'll be hearing a lot about at the end of the show. But with the Bitcoin having just 17 days away, one narrative expected to drive this blockchain speculation market after 420 is AI. Fraught with issues like hallucinations, bias, and model collapse, knowledge graphs made from verifiably true data keep artificial intelligences and even our own grounded, in touch with reality, and useful to the world, writes Origin Trail blockchain engineer and NeuroWeb lead, Niko Tudorovic. They're making knowledge graphs not only verifiable, but monetizable. Forget Netflix swapping your watch history with Zuck's dirt on your DMs. Task-specific paranets can be built and paid for through initial paranet offerings, IPOs, where freshly minted neuro tokens are rewarded for high quality knowledge. And the first IPO is launching now by ID Theory with mission of AI leveraged drug discovery in touch with reality. Origin Trail is one of the largest blockchains secured by Polkadot by transaction volume, tracking the supply chains of over 40% of US imports through their partnership with Scan and pharmaceuticals around the world in the Sustainable Medicines Partnership. And Make sure you're subscribed to The Coos because this Sunday we'll have Nico and Brana, CTO and founder of Origin Trail, on the Space Monkeys podcast, a unique episode you don't want to miss. Now, what's that other narrative we're going to be hearing a lot about soon? Taxes, baby. I know, I know. But Peenan's got some unique tips for tax time that could keep loads in your pocket. Peanut. This week's broader crypto update is a quick reminder of your tax liabilities. If you're in the US, for instance, you're taxed at the moment you control your funds. This means that if your airdrop, let's say a meme coin, and the meme coin is valued at 10k at the time of drop, in the US you owe taxes for 10k, even if the meme coin becomes worth zero one day later. This is how you get taxed for 500% of what you own. Even if you didn't know you got airdrop, you are responsible for those taxes. This includes NFTs with a theoretical value. If you're in a country that taxes any trades as gains, Wrapping your assets between chains or NFT to NFT counts as a trade, aka bridging. Don't like it? Renounce your citizenship if you're in the US because you're still responsible for taxes even if you're not a resident in the US. However, XCM, you could argue, is the native asset simply moving as a deposit and withdrawal. One more reason, XCM is big for US citizens and other similar jurisdictions. This is one reason why staking contracts are valuable. You can argue that it's not in your wallet so every game movement, for instance, isn't taxable. Unlike completely on-chain games. Croatia, on the other hand, does not tax crypto-to-crypto -crypto trades, so you can even hold stablecoin for a year and get no tax at all. If you're in the Cayman Islands, Singapore, or Switzerland, no capital gains, with some individual caveats. That said, if you've had NFTs that have gone to zero, sell them to anyone for any non-zero low price, count it as a capital loss to offset any gains. Could someone make a polka dot version of this NFT tax loss harvesting, please? Anyway, not tax or citizenship advice. Consult your own laws if they they exist in any clarity. Back to you, Jay. Definitely not tax advice, but interesting. But speak to a professional, but good to know. That's it for today. Make sure you stake your dot on the Coos for maximum Coos coverage during this bull run. The Coos.xyz will help you stake any amount. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.